Namaste. Grand rising, Big Cat Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology, Big Cat Wave, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 4th of August, we have a new moon in Leo. This transit is exalted, bringing vibrant energy and new beginnings. Set bold intentions for personal growth and creativity. Engage in activities that express your unique self. Take the initiative to start fresh projects or hobbies. Focus on goals with renewed energy and passion. Embrace the change to reinvent yourself. Please watch my comprehensive video on the new moon in Leo and the effects on each sun, moon and rising sign. On the 5th of August, Mercury retrograde begins in Virgo. Mercury is indeed exalted in Virgo, which means it's particularly strong and effective in this sign. However, during a retrograde, even though Mercury is in its exaltation, the retrograde motion can still bring challenges. Double check emails and plan to avoid misunderstandings. Engage in activities requiring careful review and attention to detail. Prepare for possible delays and have backup plans ready. Focus on revisiting and redefining current projects. Stay flexible and adaptable to change and circumstances. On the 6th, the moon in Virgo squares Mars in Gemini. This transit is challenging, bringing potential conflicts and tensions. Channel frustrations into productive work. Engage in activities requiring focus and precision. Prepare for potential disagreements and remain calm. Focus on tasks demanding mental clarity and detail. Stay grounded and avoid impulsive reactions. On the 7th, the Sun in Leo sextiles Jupiter in Gemini. This transit is favourable, enhancing optimism and growth. Engage in activities, expanding your horizons and knowledge. Pursue new ventures or learning experiences with enthusiasm. Focus on personal and professional growth. Embrace opportunities for travel or new experiences. Enjoy the uplifting and expansive energy. On the 8th. The moon in Libra trines Pluto in Aquarius. This transit is favourable, bringing emotional depth and transformation. Have profound conversations leading to new insights. Engage in activities promoting personal growth and healing. Explore deeper aspects of your, of your relationships. Focus on transformation and letting go of old patterns. Embrace opportunities to deepen connections. On the 9th. Juno enters Libra until the 4th of September 2024. Juno represents commitment, marriage and partnerships. In Libra, it emphasizes balance, fairness and harmony in relationships. Evaluate the balance in your close relationships. Engage in activities promoting fairness and equality. Resolve conflicts and restore balance. Focus on creating mutually supportive partnerships. Enhance relationships dynamics with fairness and harmony. On the 10th, the moon enters Scorpio. This transit is challenging, bringing intensity and emotional depth. Engage in activities requiring focus and deep commitment. Explore your inner motivations. Focus on transformative projects and, pers and for personal growth. Overcome challenges with determination. Channel emotional intensity into productivity. Please stay tuned in for the tarot reading to follow. Big Cat Wave!
Namaste. Grand Rising Big Cap Fire Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for your next seven days. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. Oh, you have the snake eyes, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's dive right in. Let's dive right in. The energy of the two darling dears is represented by um, the number two in on the life path, which is a 2, 11, 20 and 29, as well as the life path 11, telling me that you are a visionary, darling dears. You, you initiate situations and it's all towards your spiritual growth. It speaks about a level of healing that you are achieving, darling dears. This could be from the reanalyzation of the relationships that are around you. It speaks about you tapping into your persistent nature, Mm -hmm. The energy of the two is ruled by the frequency of 396. This is a Saturday, darling dears. Okay. Um, it's ruled by the letters BKT. It's also ruled by the moon, which is cancer energy, which is B, K and R. This is about your intuition, darling dears. It's going to be on fleek over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. Your luckiest days will be one two four six and eight you are a natural empath and a healer so utilize those energies to your best abilities your luckiest days will be monday tuesday friday and saturday mm -hmm. um the number two is represented by the astrological aspect of an opposition so this is circumstances outside your control darling dears mm -hmm. it also speaks about the um, conflict within this circumstance but it's going to bring you a new level of awareness so you'll be able to move from that darling dears again this is highlighting your relationships around you mm -hmm. okay um it's also reminding you that you must avoid 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 seeking outside validation darling dears the energy of the two makes you the peacemaker you're extremely patient you've been nurturing too many people but not anymore Okay, mm -hmm. it's about you listening to your intuition and not being swayed by other people's expectations of you at this moment in time. Okay, um, um, it's a wonderful time for you to create any form of partnership, darling dears. It could be in business or in love. Again, utilizing your intuition. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about um, not allowing yourself... Um, don't don't allow yourself to be pushed around or pushed too hard, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to to receive the appreciation you deserve for holding the number two over the next seven days. Good golly and gosh. The energy of a one one speaks about you um, meeting someone possibly haven't seen them for a number of years. It's a form of a um, some kind of reunion. Mm hmm energy of the two also points to you might possibly meet them at a party some kind of a soiree yes baby someone is on the tableau darling there's someone you haven't seen in a while we have the energy of the eight on top the eight is the number of karma as well as debt darling dears karmic debt could well be it's also a highly spiritual house darling dears mm -hmm. okay um all right let me Hold on a minute, I just had a bit of a brain fart there, clean forgot. Okay, so carrying on, carrying on. The energy of the eight speaks about your finances. So it could be something, maybe you owe taxes or you've got taxes coming towards you, some kind of a legacy. The eighth house is the house of what? Partnership style in dears, the marriage house. The eighth house is also about um, death and rebirth, letting go of certain situations that no longer serve you. The eighth house is the house of karma. You also have the eight on the side. So the eight, eight is on the tableau, darling dears. This is you being in what? Um, receiving some kind of opportunity to create some 
our money in the present moment, darling dears. It's also about you being focused on your, your big picture, your vision, hold, utilizing that vision, darling dears, especially with the new moon in Leo on the 4th and the Mercury retrograde on the 5th, darling dears. It's about what you're holding in your heart. The, something that you began possibly as far as two years ago, darling dears, whatever you've been holding in your heart, continue to hold that she's naive because it's faring thee well at this moment in time. Mm hmm Okay definitely a, something situated around the home maybe you're going to be beautifying your home over the next seven days changing things around um um re refurbishment darling dears yes all of that is in encompass within the energy of the two okay all right let's press on let's press on okay so the energy of the two darling dears on the low shoe grid which is this is represented by the um, southwesterly direction. So maybe you're going to the southwest or something from the southwest is coming towards you, darling dears. It rules the marriage, your relationships, your partnership. So like I said from the outset with the energy of the two, you're going to be looking at the things around you, what you need and what you no longer need. Okay. Your power colors over the next seven days will be pink um, as well as skin tones, darling dears, earth tones. Okay, moving forward. All right, let's press on. Let's press on. So we have the energy of the two. So we've got cancer energy. Cancer is about the home, darling dears. It's also about, for some, this could be the ending of life. My condolences because the fourth house represents um, the grave, darling dears. Yes, it does. It does. But the fourth house also represents your ancestral team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's carry on. Let's carry on. Let's get the Oracle ancestral message. So it's leaving things behind, making firm decisions for yourself, darling dears. Okay. Oh, this one jumped right up. We've got balance, darling dears. You want to, be, it's like you wanting to be in your seventh house. The seventh house is the house of harmony, it's of balance, it's of a fair mind, darling dears. Bringing back things back to how they were or going forward in a more cohesive manner love it i don't hate it bringing in that balance darling dears and again the bird listening to your intuition your discernment one more card please thank you oh we've got the air energy on its forehead darling dears mm -hmm. so somebody who's not utilizing their judgment okay Mm -hmm. Air energy upside and down. It's represented by the eagle energy. You may have the eagle as your spirit animal. It also speaks about somebody's smell. Your sense of smell is off this week, darling dears. Mm -hmm. It's about being in a position where um, your words, your words are not being 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 paid attention to. Going through challenges, darling dears. People creating challenges in your life. This is why you're going to have to be bringing things back on track, darling dears. Good golly and gosh. People not respecting your words or creating challenges in your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this balance is also going to have to what, create some kind of judgment in your life. You could be passing judgment over many a circumstance that no longer serves you. Again, we're back in that space. Base of the deck is you setting your intention. This is like the Ace of Wands. Okay. The Ace of Wands is about you being inspired at this moment in time. This is about you thinking of your growth, what you need around you and what you don't need. For some, this is your spiritual journey. For others, you'll be going to some form of relationship or the meeting of someone you haven't seen in a long time. For others, this is about pregnancy and birth, darling dears. Mm -hmm. You're taking a risk on whatever transformation you're going through at this stage of the game, darling dears. This is about you continuing to be confident and passionate about where you're going. Where you're going, darling dears. Remember, you're not a tree. You don't have to stay in the same spot. Okay. So people ain't going to be liking that. You're going to be dropping them off like a dirty shirt. Okay. Let's get the Oracle Ancestral Messages of the Black Cards. Give me some intuition, some discernment. What's going on? Who needs to be dropped off? Who's being put out to what? To pasture, darling dears. They've got to go to the Easter Island, Stevie Wonder, and stay there. Mm -hmm. Okay, cards aren't even going together, darling dears. Not fitting together. Okay. 
okay something's not quite right darling dear something's not adding up yeah we've got the 11th house and we've got the hermit and you going into hermit mode yeah this is about self-introspection darling dears it's also what giving you the spotlight to be able to shine it on what no longer serves you i'm seeing with the hermit energy i'm seeing you standing alone for others this is an older partner coming towards you remember i told you that it's about the introspection of it all darling dears yeah this is an unexpected change but it's going to be for your betterment remember hermit energy is virgo energy darling dears so it's about your work um you could be an employer or you're an employee it's how you do things darling dears it's a whole shake up in that area this is a new beginning mm -hmm. yep and again it highlights the spiritual path the 11th house is the people outside of you could be your siblings extended family members darling dears people looking at how you're making your money good golly and gosh these people are not just regular people they're called what fans darling dears <laughs> your fans your audience for some you are out there on the on the um social medias darling dears mm -hmm. yes people looking at how you're getting your money how it's coming towards you it also speaks about you feeling more liberated at this moment in time okay the energy of the 11th house also represents um, Uranus energy. So it's something you're doing online. Something to do with grandparents as well. That's being highlighted. Hermit energy is also ending of a lifetime. My condolences yet again, darling dears. Mm -hmm. The energy of the double one, darling dears, is telling you to pay attention to your intuition. Why? You have a major decision coming up at this moment in time. Yes, baby. And divine is is pushing you prompting you not to make this major decision until after the next new moon which i just highlighted is on the 4th of um august darling dears in leo go and watch my comprehensive video darling dears where it's got all of the intel on what's going on so you are practically what prepared mm -hmm. good golly and gosh so people outside of you, I call them fans. Some people call them what? Eye of Sauron, mouth breathers. But they're watching. Look, devil energy, darling dears. And they don't mean you're good. These are people you're about to leave behind. Their hedonistic behavior. They may have addictions, darling dears. Things they put in their mouth. Things they put in their mind, darling dears. But you're definitely dropping someone off over the next seven days. And it's a family member. Family matters. Okay. So you're leaving people behind. Mm hmm okay let's get a deck that i haven't used in a while i'm gonna use the after tarot deck base of the deck wheel of fortune darling dears this is a new beginning for you it also speaks about some form of travel um physically or mentally darling dears to distant lands distant people foreign people will be playing some kind of a role in your life over the next seven days it also speaks about fate destiny and good luck is on your side why you're overcoming some kind of a karmic relationship in your life darling dears letting go of that cycle for others you may even be able to what win on the lottery like i said only speculate what you can afford to lose darling dears don't lose your house mm -hmm. but definitely moving forward Okay, let's give it a good shifty. We're going to ask, the first question we're going to be asking is about your relationships over the next seven days. Relationships for the fire signs over the next seven days. leaving a situation darling dears deciding that you still have the two of cups at your back yeah solo dolo like the boys or girls on the pole darling dears mm -hmm. i know this is a five but we've got the two of cups here and we've got the two of cups here darling dears lean in bestie lean in it's about you what um, a parting of the ways when we see the two twos you're leaving behind circumstances that no longer suit you in your relationships base of the deck yes they weren't helpful they were healing you darling there's lots of gossip in the back people talking about yo woo child mm -hmm. you may even have some form of affliction at this moment in time we've got the um um nine of the nine of ones darling dears okay 
common case think think nine of wands is sagittarius as well as the moon energy darling dears okay sagittarius and the moon okay so the moon um the moon is representative of your stomach your breasts your spleen um the membrane um common case what else the moon is also representative of your pancreas darling dears be very careful around these areas over the next seven days okay mm -hmm. but also the bandages on the forehead darling dears you may have something going on with your head as well be very careful over the next seven days but you are definitely it's a done dollar not going back listen can't you see this person in the water you're singing um <laughs> if you were drowning would I lend a hand? No, you've seen their face before, my friend. And you're leaving them exactly where they are, on the rocks of life, darling dears. You're leaving situations behind. You're making making irrevocable changes in your life, darling dears. Base of the deck. Yeah, because nobody likes to be abused. There's been a lot of talk in the background. What are they talking? Let's get another deck. What are they talking about? What? what are they talking about? What are they talking about? Oh. Well, whoever you was given to in the past, you've decided to keep that shiz naive yourself. You're no longer given to them in whatever shape or form you was given to them. Remember, the devil card is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. They abused you in a situation. Could be a love relationship. Whatever it is, finito. It's over. All right. What about your friendships then? What about your friendships? Over the next seven days as you set your intention oh there's a lot of cards We've got the ace of wands king of cups ace of pentacles oh and the seven of wands so this again this is your block game darling dears blocking these people out the eight Eight of Wands, darling dears, in the upright speaks about swift movement. It could be in the form of travel or news coming towards you. The Eight of Wands also speaks about what Cupid's arrows. It could be a love affair that's coming your way, darling dears. King of Cups is about you knowing your worth. And it's definitely telling me you have in some form of money coming towards you. Helping hands will be helping you over the next seven days as far as your finances is concerned. Because I was going to ask that question next. Yeah. King of Cups is someone who doesn't allow themselves to be swayed, darling dears. Pour, uh, pouring out cups that no longer serve you. Mm -hmm. Having to stand your ground, Scott. Eh? Mm -hmm. The Seven of Wands also speaks about there was a lot of competition around you, darling dears. Yes, you're, it's, it's going to be a block party for you over the next seven days. It also speaks about war. Somebody wants it with lean with you, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Maybe you was given to what? A gnome, an elf, and you're no longer given to that person. Whatever you was given to that situation, it's over, darling dears. Yeah, putting yourself first. Moon energy, king of cups, listening to your intuition. Yes, yes, yes. Look at this, darling dears. Look at this you was lonely in that situation isolated it's also about you what no longer wanting to repeat past mistakes and issues yes you no longer want to be stuck in the situation you're moving forward let me get a question about your finances your finances this came off in my hand it's looking good darling dears you're a natural born leader it also speaks about you possibly being on some form of platform but it's going ahead Going ahead, darling dears, we have the moon energy and cancer energy again. This is going to be an ex extremely successful month. I said month. Good God in gosh. Freudian slip meant to come out, darling dears. As far as finance is concerned, you're going to be moving forward, darling dears, in a successful way. Mm -hmm. You're the warrior chariot energy. Continue to tap into your drive and determination. Again, it speaks about war, but that's got nothing to do with you, especially if it's what? In your rear view mirror. Mm -hmm. And again, the chariot energy speaks about meeting a partner, darling dears. Opposites attracting. Remember I told you that. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is about definitely a movement. Definitely a movement card. Expect some form of invitation to come to you over the next seven days, darling dears. If you get it, go. Why? There's people that you have to meet, possibly a partner, a business relationship. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's get one final card for the air signs. I'm going to use the mermaid cards. Get a good shift 
15. Face of your deck, darling dears. Re-energize, darling dears. This is like law number 25 of the 48 laws of power. This is about reinventing yourself. Use the energy of the new moon in Leo on the 4th, darling dears. As I said, look for your sun, moon and rising sign. I've already put up the VT, darling dears. Get the intel and reinvent yourself in whatever is what applicable to you. Putting yourself first. On that notes, I drop me mic. To love to my Teesprings, my Patreon on my TikToks where I also upload videos. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Big Cat Wave. Until we meet again on these tarot streets. Cat, 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 cat.